The GM Lordstown facility and the cars the workers build look a lot different than when the plant opened 50 years ago. The changes of the redesigned crews are noticeable. It's sleek and sporty. Car and driver even described it as handsome. One of the big changes, though, goes unnoticed to anyone outside the GM Lordstown plant. It's the new trim line, which makes it easier for the workers to do their jobs. This is where the trim shop starts. That's a soon-to-be new Chevy Cruze being dropped from the paint shop into the trim shop. Where we build up the interior of the vehicle, and that's primarily our function in the trim shop. Amy Carrier is the first shift trim leader, supervising the line as it meanders its way through the plant. A highlight of the trim shop, especially for people working on it, is the ergonomic design. Notice how the cars ride up and down on risers, making it easier for the next person to do their job. Yes, that is something that's very different than our former trim shop. We were on trim trucks when we were building the D1. And this enables them to easily bend into the vehicle or reach components on the vehicle that otherwise was more difficult for them. Another big part of the new trim shop are what are called kit carts. They move with the line in between the cars. The box he just moved, it's placed inside the car, and it too moves along the line, making it easier to select and assemble. There are several different boxes that have sequence and non-sequence commodities on them that allow for easier processing for the team member. They actually go to the kit cart, pick the component, and assemble it to the vehicle, rather than uh, taking the vehicle from the rack, which removes that choice from the team member and airproofs our operation to an extent. The trim shop is the third of the four processes in producing the Chevy Cruze. The body's built in its own separate plant, then comes paint, and finally chassis. But the trim shop is the newest. We have approximately 266 operations within the trim shop, so it takes us a couple hours, about three hours, to get from one side of the shop to the other. The new trim shop at the General Motors plant, where the bulk of GM's $50 million investment into Lordstown was made. Tomorrow, we'll head back to the assembly line, where I'll show you how the new cruise is built from start to finish. It all starts on First News at 5.